In this video, we will talk how to subtract base 9 from XRD data. Here we are having the XRD data and here is its plot. Now, although it seems that uh, no baseline correction is required here because it is almost a smooth data, but it requires a little bit of correction and we can see here by drawing a line and let me remove any bend from here. Now it's a straight line. Let me change the width and color of it to make it more visible. And now here we can see that the data needs a little bit baseline correction. As we can see here, it is almost flat here, but after this point, it is rising a little bit from the straight line. So we will have to correct this data. Select the plot and peaks and baseline and then peak analyzer, open dialog and we are having the preview here and we will go to subtract baseline and then next and here we will have to select a constant mode here, baseline constant mode, we will see a user defined one and the user defined is this one serves second derivatives and the eight points which are already marked here so we will click next and now i want to modify the points a bit and select this point it is already selected and let me modify this one a little bit similarly let me modify this way and this point as well make it a bit lower similarly this point i'm making a bit lower and now it seems that it is fine so i click done and now next and it has generated the columns now we are having XRD without baseline and now here we are having the XRD with the baseline correction and here I will say with baseline and now I can plot both and here we can see that now our data has been changed here like from here to here it is like this one this one is almost straight now now let me plot from 20 to 90 do apply it and now we are up to 450 here so this is this is now the baseline corrected xrd we can do this with the help of a constant line mode as well okay and now this one is baseline corrected Similarly, the same data we can uh, go on We open this again instead of user defined I will now select the straight line mode which is called the constant mode and it is open dialog and Let me go to subtract baseline in next and now I will select the constant mode and the constant mode is actually y equal 4. So this way we will not go into negative points. Next. And then if I subtract this one then I can see that it has lowered a bit. Now almost all of the plot is lowering. So this will not resolve over this issue that this one is supposed to be lowered but let's see that how it will look like 
and let me finish so we are having now the baseline corrected data here so this is one and this is corrected and here it is we can see here that there is not much improvement in this one in the straight line mode but the user defined in which we can refine our data is very good compared to this one similarly we can subtract baseline from an FTIR plot here this is an FTIR plot and I would like to subtract baseline from it so that this point and this point are on the same line and always you see these are to be from a straight line so select the plot and then go to analysis peak and baseline and then open dialog and here I say subtract baseline and now I will click next now not a constant but a user define and it has selected already the points the eight points here so I will have to modify these points from here because they doesn't seems to be good so let's see I would like that this point is to be close means this peak is supposed to be just above a straight line similarly this one and these as well so let me select like this one that this point I do it it and I just move it a bit down so it is here and let's say I move it down a little bit then this one is to be straightened with this similarly this point this I will move just below this one so that the portion of the peak is not missed while these points are fine except this one it should be a bit lower and this one should also be a bit lower so now the plot is fine that this is the baseline that I am going to subtract from it and I click next and then do subtract it in order to see how it will look like so we can see now that in the data it is created the baseline so I will copy this one and paste here and it will be with baseline correction and let me plot them so I can see now that the one which is with baseline correction is like this this one with baseline correction and this one without baseline correction we can see very clearly from here that look at the difference between this absorption and this absorption so here they are almost on the same level here and comparison between this one and this pledge here so it is like this so this way we can subtract background or the baseline from FTIR data thank you for watching